One-eyed patient, presented with sudden loss of vision. Fundus examination revealed dense pre-retinal hemorrhage of unknown etiology. Patient was taken for a vitrectomy. After doing core vitrectomy, PVD was induced. PVD induction should be gentle, without causing any traction to retina, especially when cause of bleeding is unknown, otherwise it can lead to iatrogenic retinal tear. For this, PVD should be pulled along the retina, not anterior-posteriorly. Inferior temporal vessels were sclerosed, indicative of old branch vein occlusion, which makes retina very thin and ischemic, any sort of traction will lead to tear, so no attempt was made to pull PVD till periphery in one go. Pre-retinal hemorrhage was then cleared passively, by brushing gently with silicone tip cannula. On removing blood, there was subretinal hemorrhage, with large blood clot, indicative of retina artery macroaneurysm. No attempt was made to dislodge the clot, instead its borders were trimmed with cutter. Vitreous is trimmed all around its strong attachment due to vein occlusion, to prevent any tear. <music> Macula had ILM pucker, due to old occlusion, for which ILM peeling was done. ILM peeling was initiated with pinch and release technique, to create initial tear and then slowly completing the peel by holding the flap, around the edges, instead of pulling it right across in one go. Case was closed after doing sectoral PRP in the inferior temporal quadrant. As in vein occlusion, ischemic areas are usually present in far periphery. Laser should be done to lower it to prevent any future bleeds. Thanks for watching. Subscribe channel for retina surgeries.